Hello and welcome to the awesome TV show with Nikhil Taneja. I am the boy boss of this show, Nikhil Taneja, and this week I'll be reviewing the full season of the Netflix show, Girl Boss. What's the advice? This is an original 1970s East West calfskin motorcycle jacket in perfect condition. Know what your shit's worth? Cause you just got played. I was looking forward to Girl Boss. The new Netflix binge-a-thon had all the right things going for it. Executive produced by Furiosa or Her Majesty Charlie's Theron, the show is created by and co-executive produced by Kay Cannon, the writer of both the Pitch Perfect movies, which I found awesome. The show is based on a best-selling book by Sofia Amoruso, hashtag Girl Boss. The hashtag is actually the name of the book. I have stopped using hashtags, as you know, for you guys. Hashtag sincerity. And it stars recent rom-com magnate Britt Robertson, who you last saw co-starring with George Clooney in Tomorrowland. So for all practical purposes, this should be an awesome TV show, right? Right? Well, let's start with a synopsis. Girl Boss is about a loud, obnoxious, volatile and rude 20-something millennial, Sophia, who on realizing that growing up sucks and being an adult is hard, stumbles upon a business idea of refashionizing vintage clothes and selling them online for bits. We find out what happens next in the course of 13 half-hour episodes. Let's start with the good things. To its credit, once you make peace with the fact that Sophia is in fact an asshole and the show really isn't invested too deep in her emotional growth, then Girl Boss is an easy watch. Britt Robertson as Sophia acts her heart out like OMG, she is a freaking Girl Boss and she owns every damn frame of her every damn scene. My favorite part of the show though isn't Sophia but her BFF, the crazy, goofy and really funny Annie. Annie is exactly the kind of BFF you would want if you were a young millennial girl or an older millennial boy. Yes, I love Annie and I want her as my BFF. She's so cool that I immediately followed the actress who played her, Ellie Reid, on Instagram. Sophia and Annie's friendship is the best thing about the show and I wish the entire show was about that because then it would be the kind of show that I'd recommend the shit out of. What's that? It's a telethon thermometer. It strongly resembles a penis. <laughs> well, we are at half chub now. At the moment though, it's hard for me to wholeheartedly recommend Girl Boss because here come the downsides. It tries too hard to be punk. The show is also a coming of age show. So in the process, it's neither punk nor has enough heart and is just as confused as Sophia is about what she wants to be. Should it be a foul mouthed brat? Or wait, should it be a reluctant adult? Should it come of age and show the slightest maturity? Or wait, should it wear its firebrand youth on its sleeve? Girl Boss tries to be all things that I just said and isn't any of them completely. At times, it is damn fun. For example, episode five, Top 8 about the origin story of Sophia and Annie's friendship is exactly the kind of fun, trippy tone that the show should have had. Or for that matter, episode 4, Lady Shopper 99, coincidentally both these episodes directed by the same director, Stephen Toshida, that explores her loneliness through a dinner invite and then has a fantastic one-shot scene as a climax. It's such an evocative episode. There are other episodes that are individually fun to watch, but the sum of fun parts do not make a consistent whole, unfortunately. Late in the day, Girl Boss does make an attempt for depth and emotion but by then, you're actually far more interested in Kavi, the sarcastic Indian IT engineer, than anything to do with Sophia. The biggest problem that plagues Girl Boss is that it doesn't have much of a plot. Everything that Sophia goes through in trying to start a business is something we have seen some way or the other in some TV show or some film. You want a show about people struggling with a startup? Check out Silicon Valley, the funniest comedy on television that has just as much plot as it has funny one-line zingers. So what remains is a show that was only bubbling with potential and could have been a cult show of the ladies by the ladies and for everybody but in the end thanks largely to its inconsistency remains the kind of show that you'd watch and forget so is it an awesome tv show sadly it isn't but if you have time on your hands and you have finished watching reruns of girls broad city and insecure then also silicon valley is back and it's the funniest show on television if you want to watch it watch it now 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 on star world premiere and hot star now Fargo is also back and it's the best drama on television. Watch on Colors Infinity now, now, now. I'm so happy both these shows are back. Dusra also. Homeland this season was one of the best seasons the show has had since the very beginning because it did something so fucking smart. It raised the question that asked that if Hillary had been elected president instead of Trump and all the things that are happening against Trump, including the anti-Trump rallies or all the media against him, would have happened with Hillary. Would you 
still be okay with it? What is the government after all? What is democracy after all? One of the most politically relevant things I've seen in a long, long, long time. I cannot recommend this season of Homeland enough. Watch it on Hotstar right now. I'll be back next week with the review of another politically relevant show, The Good Fight. But until then, to me girls ki kasam, to me girl bosses ki kasam, to me Charlie's Theron ki kasam, to me Netflix ki kasam, share this video. If you are a girl boss or a boy boss or any kind of boss, then like, share and subscribe to the Film Companions Reviews channel here. Watch all my previous episodes and recommendations over here. Comment on what you felt about girl boss right here. And don't forget to follow me on all social media channels on Taneja Mehu because Taneja Mehu mark is there.